quite deep in some moments. For example, here. <laughs> You, you see one? Oh, I can see it. It's a mamba there. It's a green mamba. Cool. Okay, just, it's, it's not very high. Just wait. Just wait. Just don't move and wait. Cool. Careful, careful. Just don't move. Yeah, I see it. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. Just carefully, carefully, uh -huh. carefully move. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, she's moving, she's moving, she's moving. He's got it. You can from the other side. Uh -huh. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh -huh. Můžeš, můžeš, když tak běž před klonu. We can move together. No, we on in addition, we need to catch the clap to skip. We can. Can we, can we slowly? Can we slowly go not to the water but to the ground? Let's go this way. Can we go this way? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Don't. Do it. It's fine. We just need to film it right there. Can you hold, just hold it there? Don't do. This can. I know, it's fine. I need to rehold it. I need to rehold it. I need to rehold it. <laughs> so as you can see, the snake is absolutely calm, even though it's trapped. Um, we try to explain the local catchers that we want to do it, uh, you know, as safely as possible and also gently for the snake. But they insisted on using um, this method, these sticks. Um, so we hope that uh, it should be should be fine. It's not like really, really putting too much pressure, at least here on the on the tail. So we'll try to um, bag the snake safely. The local hunter wants to um, use gloves and catch it by the by the head. Uh, that's how many people uh, catch mambas. They catch it by the head and then they put it into the bag and they. Turn the, the bag upside down and then they release the head from the outside of the bag. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, local snake catchers use these methods because they have uh, no uh, other tools to use, they don't have better tools. They, uh, even though they have snake tongs, they are probably not very experienced uh, with using them. And of course, there's no anti venom here, uh, so they can't risk getting bitten. Uh, it's the same for us, but we think about um, the welfare of uh, animals a lot. So um, we hope that the snake uh, will be fine. It's calm. It's not like trying to escape. It's. It doesn't look like uh, it's hurt. So I think yeah, what he's trying to do is to pin the snake down, and <coughs> now now the snake he, is angry. He of wants course. to grab it by the head. Of course, <coughs> the snake is angry. <coughs> it doesn't like it. And when he will have it, then I think they want to release the body. <coughs> I guess. Yeah. Can I release? It, okay, it. perfect. Okay. Yeah. He has it, so we can release the body. Now this is awesome. Okay. The scales are a little bit damaged, but otherwise it's okay. Mm -hmm. What about ribs? Okay. Yeah, don't block me. Your okay. This is male, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's male. Okay. So now they will put it in the bag like this and he will rehold the snake still going to hold the head and he will rehold from outside the mambas are very mm. fast so um, they try to jump out of the bag very often so basically most people 
uh, back mambas in this way. Oh, they do it like this. Mm -hmm. We are usually uh, mm -hmm. use methods mm -hmm. which uh, um, are not using catching the snake by the head because that's very stressful for the snake. Pěš tam se nechystat k leštěma. Jestli to vůbec jde, já nevím, můžeš to zkusit, jestli by to vůbec jde. So wait, Mike, you can try the second one. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. I don't know where I'm going. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to go. No, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm just holding her gently by the tail and she's basically hanging from the tongs. As you can see, I can use the tongs instead of a hook. I don't need to put any pressure on the snake actually. Now I'm just using it, you know, as, as a hook basically. So uh, yeah, and she I can, can just use it like climb this. Up. <laughs> and as you can see, mambas are a very strong snake. They can climb up their body. She's basically now having a nice, cozy position. So only if she decides to move closer to me, I just put her down on the ground and try to rehold her again. These snakes are very peaceful. They don't really want to have anything to do with people. It let her, no, 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 let her go no, no, more no. to those other Let's branches, see, like this, up, yeah, up, yeah, up, yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, cool. she's going up, she's going up, that's nice, that's cool, <laughs> nice, you can see how fast they climb, unbelievably fast, <laughs> and she's up. So this is the first moment when this the mamba is out. You do this technique, it's called raking. Mamba is moving and you see 15 seconds, maybe. And the good. Mamba will have another burst of energy. But if you have nice open space, you just do this slowly. And the snake goes slowly. Be calm. I can take out my camera slowly and start to get some nice footage. So the snake is going to realize after a short time that nothing bad is happening to it, you know. Of course, at the beginning it is scared. There are three people, three big animals around it. But after some time, it will see that we are not doing any damage. So, most snakes, they calm down very quickly. They see that it's really not dangerous. And as you can see, then you can slowly start to be more intimate with them. I would say, like you can touch the tail, you can put them up. So many people think that um, green mambas are very active hunters and they are always on the move, but they actually spend a lot of time in ambush. They are well camouflaged in the tree canopy, so they just wait for the prey to come. And we can see it clearly when we work with them, all three species of uh, mambas with green color, when you put them on the tree, they usually just find a nice position and they stay like that. They're not like super active in trees. Of course, they can move very fast when they want, but it's not that they are always on the move. I'll put her here. I'll try to make her go up to the tree. Right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. She will climb up. Well, she will, but... <laughs> we can't see it. Yeah. Ah, yeah, oh, no, she's, she's, coming, she's up. coming, maybe. My idea is to try to put the snake on this bridge. I think it starts to go... Oh, okay, yes. I can be here. Yes. Yes, it's gonna climb up, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. I'm letting it go. Cool, let it go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah checks the option now where it can go I'm still holding the tail I will keep it like this and 
slowly, slowly, it goes up, great, on this branch where it's visible, yes, mm -hmm. you can continue, you are back home, thank you very much, it was amazing, this was such a great experience, working with Western Green Mambas, we really enjoyed it, and this is actually one of the best moments at the end, when we brought those snakes back to their home and we see them coming up the trees where they belong. Mm -hmm. Extremely peaceful animals, they never try to do any harm to us and uh, we are grateful for the time we could spend with them. You are free, you can go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Awesome. Check how it climbs. Basically, wow. vertically up, you can see uh, how the muscles work, how the snake pushes itself up. These snakes are excellent climbers. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Or if you want to support us more, you can even become a member of our YouTube channel. You can also buy our merchandise. Uh, link to our store is under the video in the description. Thank you!